let me show you how to add a button on JotForm tables to send out data via webhook via a one click button. So let me show you how right now. Welcome to JotForm. My name is George and I'm going to show you how to add a button on JotForm tables. This way, we're going to be able to click our button and it's going to send out data to a third party automation system. It could be Make, it could be Zapier, Pavly Connect, Integrately, or many other automation systems that receive web hooks. So let's get started with one of the forms that I have already and go to the submission sections that's going to take us to job form tables. So I'm going to use this one right here and I'm going to click on more and we're going to go into submissions. Be aware that every single form that we create is going to create a submissions section. So in this case, it's a really simple form where it's just a test name and email. What we want to do is add a button where we can send out this data via webhook. So let's click on the add here for the column. Let's go ahead and select buttons and we're going to select send data via webhook. So let's go ahead and select it. And now it's going to ask us for the column name. So I'll say send data, click next. And now it's going to ask us for the webhook link. This link is going to be provided by the automation system that we're going to use. In this case, I'm going to use Pavly Connect for the demo, but you can use any other automation system out there. Okay. So let's go into Pavly Connect and I'm going to create a new workflow. I'm going to name this job form. I'm going to create it. And the first thing that we need to add is the trigger. In this case, the trigger is going to be the webhook, that data that's going to be sent out via one click button from job form tables. So let's click webhook. The trigger event is going to be catch webhook. And now it's going to provide us a link that we're going to add on job form. So let's go ahead and copy this link, go to job form, add the webhook. Let's go ahead and complete integration. And we should now have a button in this column. So every single submission that we're going to get is going to add a new row and it's going to add a button next to it right here automatically. Now we decide if we want to send out the data. Now the automation is not done yet. If we go back to Pavly Connect, we're going to use recapture webhook response, say yes, and it's going to wait for the data to be received. So hypothetically saying, let's just say that you have a lot of roles right here and you're going to send out the data only the one that you feel fit to send it, send out via webhook to start an automation. Take for example, when you receive a lot of submissions and you think some of these are good for closing the cell, you're going to send this data to your sales team, for example, and you're not going to send out every single one of these data when someone fills out the submission, just the one that you review here and you click on the send data, you're going to send it out. We're going to go to the job, go to Pavly Connect here, and we're going to receive the data in a short period of time. Here we go. We just received it. We have the email, the sample text for the name, first name and last name. And that was a really short form, but we're going to get all the data right here. Now we can start an automation with this data that we just sent out. You can verify emails. You can start an email campaign. You can send this to a CRM, to your cloud, etc. with all the automation actions that you have available here. Now there's tons of these, and these are going to be variable depending if you're using Zapier, make, make, Integrately or Pavly Connect, for example, or any other automation system out there. So like I said, the idea is to have these buttons to send out data only for the data that you feel fit that should be sent out via webhook. And if you need to resend out data, just click on this arrow and go to resend right here. So it's a really great way to connect your job form table to webhooks with a one single click button available right here on your job form table. Well, I thank you all for watching. Please leave us know here in the comments what you think about these webhook buttons and what you would like to see implemented in the future. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that little bell notification to get notified when new videos come out. And that's a wrap.